How would you like to level up the way your Facebook page looks? In this tutorial, that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to design a killer Facebook cover photo in less than 15 minutes. Let's jump right in. Hey everybody, Kevin Smolin with 2Q Lead Generation Strategies. We are here back again for another tutorial. If you're new to our channel, thanks for being here. What we're all about is helping real estate agents generate more leads, get more appointments, and close more transactions, doing a lot of that through digital marketing. So if you want more tips and more strategies like what you're gonna see today, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you here as part of our community. Uh, in today's tutorial, what we're gonna show you is how to use uh, one of my favorite tools, Canva, which is a graphic editing program, to create a killer Facebook cover photo in less than 15 minutes. So with that, um, I am just gonna jump right in and we are gonna get after this. So what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna show you how to create a cover photo just like this. So this is the cover photo on my business page and uh, this is what I've built using Canva. I'm gonna show you how to get something similar to that in less than 20 minutes. So with that being said, uh, two tools that you're gonna to wanna to use for what I'm gonna show you today. Number one is canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. Uh, there is a free account, please use that one. Um, that, everything that I'm gonna show you today is part of the free account, so you would never have to um, sign up for their premium service to do what I'm gonna show you. And then the other tool that I'm gonna to use today is Pexels, so P-E-X-E-L-S.com. Uh, this is a website where you can get photos and videos that you can use for commercial purposes for, um, for absolutely free. So I'm gonna use this as well. Now, the first step is you wanna come here and you wanna grab some photos. So since we're in the real estate industry, obviously I'm just gonna type in real estate and I wanna get one great photo of an exterior of a home, and you wanna make sure it's consistent with the kind of homes that uh, are, are normal in your area. So let's say I love this one, so I'm just gonna click on it, go to free downloads, I'm gonna download a medium size, and then um, we're just gonna put that right there so that I know where it is. Okay, great, so there's one photo. Um, I also wanna get some interior photos. So let's say a lot of people like to look at kitchens. So I'm just gonna type in kitchen and see what we've got. That one looks pretty good. So we're just gonna grab that photo real quick. Um, we're gonna grab a bedroom photo. Helps if I type it correctly. That would speed up this tutorial. <laughs> but anyway, so we're gonna grab a, a bedroom photo. Uh, again, something that's consistent with the type of homes that you deal with. That one looks, that's not bad. So we'll grab that one. I'm just gonna save that to the same folder. And then I like to, sh I like to have like a family picture or something like that. Um, so, Type in family, um, something like this inside of a home, enjoying it, that looks great. And then because of where I live, I live in Utah, um, and so mountains are very prevalent here, and so I recommend that you grab a photo that would be consistent with your area. So if you're in a major metropolitan area, maybe you're grabbing an image of like the skyline of the city or, but grab a photo that's consistent with your area. Um, I don't know, maybe if I even type in Utah, it might get me something more specific. Um, so Arches, like Arches National Park is pretty, uh, pretty popular, pretty common here. So I might even grab that just because of how popular it is for my area. Okay, perfect. So now that I've got that, I've got all the images and everything that I'm gonna need. In fact, I may even have more than I need. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to Canva and I'm gonna type in that I wanna create a Facebook cover photo. And so when I do that, I'm just gonna use the blank template because I'm gonna make my own. So here is the Facebook cover, uh, the photo template. 
And so I'm just gonna move that down here out of the way. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna go to elements and we're gonna spend a lot of time on this tab. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to grids and I want a grid that is two images, but slightly off center. So see how this one's perfectly centered. Um, I want uh, this one where they're a little off center. So I've got a smaller image and then a larger image. The other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to uh, shapes and then I'm going to put in a shape at the bottom and then we're gonna make that about yay big make sure it goes the full width on the bottom and then you're gonna want to put this at whatever color um, you do for branding. So I do a lot of stuff in blue, so I would put that blue. And then here I could add some text and then this would be my slogan or, or tagline. And that slogan or tagline, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right down here. Black on blue doesn't always look great, so I'm gonna make that text white. And I may even shrink that down a little bit just to make it fit and look a little better. So you could just put your slogan or tagline at the bottom, just like you see, I've put some text here at the bottom, right? So that part is done. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the uploads part and we're gonna upload some of those images um, that we downloaded. So I've got a bunch of them here. I'm just gonna select all of them and we'll upload those. And then to a large extent, a lot of this is just gonna be drag and drop. So on the left here, since this is a real estate page, I want my real estate photo to be over here. So that house that I downloaded, that's coming over here. I can double click it and adjust it to kind of make it fit the way that I want. Um, it's a little big for that area, but we'll just do the best that we can. And that still doesn't look too bad. Over here, I want the picture that's consistent with my area. So I've got this picture of the national park and that looks great. Now, the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be putting some text over here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to elements and I'm gonna use this shape again. And what's gonna be different this time is I'm gonna make sure that it covers that image. And then I want it to be a darker gray, so I would probably go with that. And then because it's covering up that image, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this transparency button and we're gonna make that transparent. And you can put it whatever level you want. What this does is it just makes it so the text pops out, right? If it was completely transparent and I put text on some of that, it's gonna get a little washed out. So by doing like a 50% transparency, it's enough that they can still see the image, but because it's gonna be text on top of a darker background, it's gonna pop out a little bit more. In fact, I may even change the transparency uh, just a little bit more. That's probably pretty good right there. Okay, great. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do inside Elements is they have, um, where'd they go? They have these frames. And so what frames are, are shaped photos. So you'll notice on mine, I have some images that I've stacked up right over this border just to kind of change things up and make it look a little different. So I want three of these images, so I'm gonna kind of center it and line it up there. I'm just gonna hit duplicate to create another one. And I mean, in fact, I'm gonna make these even a little bit bigger. And then I'm just gonna duplicate that one again. And then I'm gonna duplicate that one more time. I'm just kind of staggering these so that it's covering up that line. Um, I want this to be on top. So I'm gonna go to position and put to front. So that way this white bar is covering that, um, but I need to send, okay, so we're gonna put the text all the way to the front 
and then this, oops. And then this we're gonna bring, um, there we go, perfect. So now we have our text and we have these three images. So these images, I can just place other images inside of them. So I have all of those uploads uh, that I put. So I can use um, like a picture of a kitchen in one and we have picture of a bedroom in another. And I have this one, or I could even use, you know, my own headshot. I could put in a headshot of me. Again, it's totally up to you. I may just use that one just because. And so that takes care of a lot of it. Uh, you're also gonna need your brokerage information for compliance. So the brokerage logo, I would probably put right there. See, that's starting to look pretty nice. And then I'm just gonna go to text and we're gonna create some text. Now you can play with font settings and make the font exactly what you want. I'm going to assume that you know how to change the font and change the size and change the color. Um, pretty much any graphic editing program you've ever used has that functionality, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. But then the strategy that I like to use, and you've seen it, is I like to put a little bit of text up here with arrows pointing to this button because this button is a way that I can start getting people to engage with me and start generating a lead. So with that, uh, let me go back. So you can put like search all available homes on my website by clicking Below. Now, by the time I get that text in this space, obviously that's way too big. And so I'm going to shrink that down. Let's go to 18. That's starting to look better already. And then black on top of a gray background also doesn't look great. So I may change that to, oops, I may change that to white. Oh, I didn't realize I added another text block. My fault. So I may change that text to white. That looks a little bit better. Again, you could use whatever color or whatever branding you want for your, for your text, but see how the white on this gray background, it really makes it pop out and makes it read, it's easier to read. So now we've got the majority of this built. The last thing is I'm just gonna go to elements and then up here in this search phrase, I'm just gonna type in arrow. Um, as you saw, I like to use arrows to point to this call to action button. And I know where that button is. It's right over here. And so this is the one that I tend to use the most. Uh, obviously that arrow is way too big. So we're going to shrink that down. Um, I like to draw attention to it. So I often will do it in red. We're gonna rotate that around a little bit so that it's at 90 degrees. We'll make that even a little smaller. And then I know that button's gonna be right about over here. So I would put that there. And then I'm gonna duplicate that a couple times. Those purple lines mean that it's, means that it's all lined up. So those arrows are perfectly in alignment with each other right there. And there you go. So that is how you can create one of these very quickly. At this point, I'm pretty much done. So I've just come up here, download that, save it to your computer somewhere, and then you would just come over here to your Facebook page, click on change cover, upload that new photo, and that would be it. So that is a tutorial on how to create a killer graphic for your Facebook cover photo um, do it done by yourself in just a few minutes. And hopefully that tutorial was very helpful. This is just a way to make your page jump out, um, directing people to that button where you can generate some leads. If you don't know how to use that button and how to set it up, uh, I'm gonna put a link to a tutorial right here that will show you how to customize and how to set up that button to drive people to your website or incoming phone call or however you wanna use it. So I'll put that tutorial right up here. Um, if you like this tutorial, again, give us a like, uh, give us that split second to hit thumbs up. That helps us a tremendous amount. It helps us know what kind of content you want to see in the future. And uh, we also just appreciate your support. It helps uh, more and more people see our content. 
Uh, also, if you want more strategies like this, please consider subscribing. Again, love to have you here as part of our community. Uh, lastly, I'm going to put up a couple videos right here that you can go check out that will give you more tips and more strategies on how to grow your business. Uh, we do a ton with Facebook ads, lead generation. If you want some of those strategies, I'll put them up here. Go check those out. Other than that, keep crushing it. Use this time to grow your business. This is the time to lead and to step forward and not to pull back. So with that, make it a great week. If we can help you grow your business, reach out. We'd love to help you. And I'll put some information uh, about that in the comments below or in the description below. So thanks. Make it a great week. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.